Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a product review. Uh, appreciate you tuning in, joining with us today. You have selected the right video with the right person. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and drop a subscribe button. Also, hit that like button because we'll most definitely give you something to like. So today we're going to hop right into it. Not a whole lot of excess talking and whatnot. We're going to be testing out the Ryobi 16 inch surface cleaner that we have got for our Ryobi pressure washer. We'll go over there and check that out. So I have yet to take this one out of the box and look at it. Ordered this from Home Depot. I'm gonna check it out. Max 3700 PSI. The reason why I went with this one is not only it's PSI levels, but it's because it has caster wheels. Um, we are just gonna go ahead and unbox this and test it out. We'll do a walk through here in a minute, uh, show you the driveway of what it looks like. You excited to clean the driveway? Yeah, so we're gonna do a walk through the driveway, show you how dingy and dirty it is, and then we'll test this out, see what kind of job it does. Went ahead and cut the top of our box open. Let's go ahead and pull this out and see what we got in here. Ooh, wow. Push down on the box. Push. Here, you, you pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. Ta da! There's not much left in there. This is our unit. Let's check out our, our uh, washer unit for the driveway. Wash! Yeah! Hmm. Hopefully, this is a sturdy unit. Yeah. Because I will be using it a lot. Use it on the decks and clean that up. Uh, we did not get the extension. Oh, so look. we're gonna see uh, if hey, the, look. yeah, you got instructions. We are going yeah. to see if this will work. I think it'll hey. it'll be fine. I don't yeah. have to have an extra long extension. Yeah. Check out the bottom of it. Yeah, pictures, one. what you got? A box. So the pictures are a little deceiving. It's only got two jets. Um, sometimes it looks like it has four. It's got two. It's got your little bristle style brushes and your rollers. So real quick, we'll walk up and down the driveway, show you everywhere that we are going to be uh, pressure washing with just this. I'm going to try it first with no solution and see how well it does. Now I have pressure washed the driveway in the past using this Ryobi washer. We are going to be using the 2.3 gallon per minute, 3,000 PSI. I bought this one a couple years ago from Home Depot also, and it's been a very good pressure washer. I liked my Subaru one better, but it finally went out. So this one, it's not a bad ordeal. Had to work on it the other day because the carbs was clogged up, the bowl, but that took all of about five minutes to get it taken care of. So back to the driveway. As you can see, somebody's been doing burnouts in my driveway. Yeah. With our messy, 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 rainy weather, of course, track a lot of mud, you know, and it just, over time, kind of looks like a dingy driveway. Old stains, old spots. Got stuff from where I was pressure washing wheels and uh, the race car the other day. So, do ourselves a, a favor of trying to cut in and maybe spruce this driveway up and the sidewalk and stuff a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up and hook it up and see how good of a job it does and we're going to try this one with no solution i went ahead and decided to bust out the solution soap it up a little bit let it soak in real nice. See how this does, if it makes a real big difference or not. Here I'll pass. This beer commercial break is brought to you by Pacifico. So we've got this section right here lathered down. Been letting it soak for Eh, about 10 minutes. 
I just cracked this one open. So when we get to the end of this bottle, we're gonna go back to pressure wash. It'll probably do a little bit better on a hot day, but I don't know, I've never tried this stuff before. So we're gonna see. back over it with the 40 degree nozzle start pushing everything that it broke up pushing it on down so I'd say about another treatment or two of some type of pressure washing cleaning solution after I push all this out and away and into the ditch that it will start bringing life back into it now I'm starting to get a little, uh, lose some of the sun, but you can see the difference here. You know, where the dirt was, where it's gone, and then everything that has migrated down there. So I'm gonna keep pushing with the pressure washer and then if we have enough time you know we ordered some pizza might go over it one more time before it gets dark but the cool thing about it is i got these really bright hyper light lights leds i think i'm up to like 14,000 lumis so i can what you got buddy is that mine mm. so this is the remnants of the leftover uh, gender reveal party we just hosted. You see some more 
marks in the driveway hosted that not mine but gonna do this whole area here we'll soap it down real good cleaned all this out got all the edges gonna go up through here and do this I wanted to start with this because I knew that we were going to be doing this today. So, as you can see, the shade difference. Uh, turned the lights on last night. Man, you can tell a difference. It actually made the driveway brighter. So, we're going to soap her down and get started. Got her all soapy and soggy. We'll let her rest for a minute. Let all this soak in real good. And then gonna fire up. You know what I'll do is do like I did with the other portion and go through there over it over it with that guy and then probably pressure wash with the regular nozzle pushing all the stuff off and then I'll start from that in and do it again and see how well I did notice down here when we were going down I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, camera but in some spots you know you have to take it kind of slow so I figure it needs more jets it's kind of streaking but this whole ordeal it's not a bad little unit um, can I, I think the second or maybe a third pass of doing it would most definitely get it all solid you just gotta kind of take your time don't think it, it's kind of like a carpet shampoo or you just Gotta go over it real slow. So here we go, we're gonna get her cleaned up. this whole section here all washed up first round making some slower laps as you can see it's drying right here on this corner it's done a pretty good job the lines and streaks that you see is uh, residual dirt that just kind of pulled up so I'm gonna go back over it with the pressure washer the regular nozzle and spray it down I get all this trash and stuff that's collected from fall in the corner Get it out, give it an initial wash, and push all the grime on down the driveway. And then start from scratch. From here, we're going to do that corner. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And then we're going to see how it looks. Might have to find us a different solution. Um, something a little bit stronger. Because I know this right here alone is not doing it but it is a slow process and it's doing a pretty good job it's uh it's making things a lot easier with the caster wheels and everything so i'm gonna get this corner sprayed out get it cleared up let it dry a little bit 
and then we'll take some more uh, video of what's going on. Hey, what's that? Pedal, pedal, pedal. What's that sound? Well, that's the sound of Tennessee. Yep. Yep. Tennessee. It's sounded like Tennessee, babe. That's the Tennessee loud. Go boom. Tennessee. Boom. Paddle, paddle, paddle. What? Wait. Wait. Paddle, paddle. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Yeah, buddy. As it's drying up, you can see the shade difference. It's not best on the big stains. But I think over time, a few washes, it might do really good. Got a few, say like oil stains, residual that's been there for a while. And then we got some rust stains from a rotor that sat there when it rained at my wheel chalk. And of course the burnout marks. But overall review. Um I, is it worth the $180 I paid for it? Mm, I mean it's fun to use. Uh it was kinda it's fun. $180? I don't know. Can't really compare it to anything else. Um, I just know that paying the extra to get this one um, over the the one that didn't have the wheels, the wheels definitely made it handy. They didn't get caught up too bad. So I hope you guys find this video useful. If you got any suggestions, something else to try, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, peace out, guys.